come on, come on, my guy. Long time as well, man. Long time, fam. It's been like two, three years. Two, three years, man. In 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 the basement at Relentless, you had your launch. Mm. Family was there. It was it was it was a good time, man. That was for my Brixton album. But we gotta talk about also like everyone knows we gotta come out through the timelines because. Bro, you're, st you're still a young man in the game, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get me? But you just like, you just come in and cut through and yeah, yeah. like your sound that you created, like set the tone yeah, for what yeah. was going on. Yeah. People use the word under, people like to use the word underrated a lot for like some artists, but being a pioneer, like what have you seen as the pros or cons of being a pioneer like so early? Mm. I feel like in my situation, I was talking like road stuff and how I looked with all the man them as well and all of that stuff. But you see back then it's like, that's not good. They, they don't want that stuff. Man needs to be like moving professional. Man needs to be a good youth. Man needs to just move correct. But now, 10 years later, it's like they want drill rappers that's what they play on radio. That's what's going number one. I heard that more than I heard Ed Sheeran. Back then, all I used to hear is Ed Sheeran, Adele, Tiny Temper. Tinchy. Tinchy, like commercial names, you know, like that. Now I don't even hear commercial names. I just hear it's either the UK artist that's drilling and Afro beats and all of that stuff, or it's like American, Americans that's like, in the streets as well. It's street music, basically. Like that's all that's popping right now. Back weird. then, it weren't like that. But that's why it's weird, isn't it? Because that like, you you started from that, yeah, yeah. And they try to shut you down from yeah, that. The man can't perform because of what man's talking about in man's tracks. Man can't um, can't go. I, like, I couldn't even go in wireless certain times for years. Like I couldn't go in wireless because of this stuff. But now, this is what I'm saying. I won't even get nominated. I've still till this day not been nominated. But man make one track talking smack, they're nominated. They even win the award that night. Like, you know it's it, good. I'm happy for them. But it's like, yeah, times have changed now. Things have changed now. Bro, what do you put this down to? Because this, this whole thing, like, this thing, did you link someone in the mogul? Like, what, how does this make sense, bro? <laughs> bro, I don't know. I've been thinking my whole life, not my whole life, my career, like, bro, like, Trust me, I've had more than 10 bangers and I've never been nominated. I'm not saying that I deserve to win over the rest of the nominees, but my name even been nominated. Then songs that are not mine, but like a feature on it, th that will get nominated. Yeah. But Sneakball song is not getting nominated, but the song he featured it and he, I started the song like something like that. I don't even want to mention it, but you know like that. Yeah, I, man won't get no love or nothing. Okay, on, on, uh, okay, cool. Now, on a, now, people don't want to be like, oh, man's being moist, but on a personal level, you must feel disappointment in that because this is, music is your thing now, like. Yeah, I, cool. So back then, like f four years ago, three years ago, uh, every year when the mobile announced nominees, I'll be on Twitter dissing them, complaining, start getting angry at certain rappers saying, you man are shit, why are you even up there? Like, you know, like that, but. As I've got older now, and I've realised, one, uh, these things don't make, like, it don't change your life, that's one thing. Number two, yeah, like, it don't mean my man's doing better than me or what not. It's just, it's just a trophy, it's just there, you know, like that, it don't do nothing. So, I've just, I don't even care no more. If it comes, it comes, if it don't, it don't. Like, my mum, my son, my girlfriend, and whoever, like my family, my sisters, them people, my brethren's on the ends, them people paying me respect and telling me a legend and all that shit, that's my trophies, you know, like that, like. Nah, straight. Like, again, being a pioneer, like, because this is the thing, is that like, I remember, because, like, bro, like, I, I do remember seeing you shut, bro, you, no one will shut down events like you did. Yeah, yeah. Like, you had it on some yeah, mash. Yeah. Cause you remember, day, no, but bro, because you remember, like people didn't even have tunes to really dance yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get me? Yeah, hundred, hundred. I, I can't remember what event it was. I don't know where. Or I don't know if it was one in. I can't remember the, the location. I just remember it was like, it was like a, a little auditorium or something. It was big though. You walked out, bro. You didn't even have to rap. <laughs> Crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's till the, that's a song that's even like ten years old. 
and man don't have to rap it till this day. Like, I see videos of people out just enjoying it and they always send me like, and I'm thinking, nah, man, it's mad. Like, a lot of men don't even last three, four years or in that. Yeah, even now, it's like, like 18 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, bang, I'm done. There's nothing else after that. Man's been here, man. Trust me, man's loading up again. But when you, when you reflect, when you first went in the studio and you knocked out them type of rhythms, did you know what I was going to do? No, I was just dropping them. I didn't think I'm going to get paid. I didn't think I'm going to have a show. I didn't think I'm going to get interviews and blow from I didn't think nothing. I was just rapping. Do you know what I have wondered, though, is like, this may be a bit techy, so you can, you can kind of skim over it. Mm. There's music and then there's the business in it. Mm. Now, how, like, you've learned what the business now is mm. because of certain situations, mm. but when you're new and you're young and you're coming up into it, how do you avoid getting taken advantage of on a business end? Do you get me? Because it happens a lot nowadays. It could be management, it could be labels. Yeah. It's like man up on the road. Because like, I know man up on the road. With that now, you can't avoid it. There's, it's going to happen. It, whether you know all your Spotify and yeah. Apple Music shit, there's something over there that is going to happen. You get me? It's experience. It ha it, you just have to go for it. and Yeah, you just have to go for it. Can't, you can't study these things like I don't know unless some people have but I me personally from my experience I had to go through it now I know a lot more there's still more I'm gonna go through you know like that there's still more to learn but how do you, I mean again it's the, it's the mentality of when those things happen mm. newly mm. you're from the like bro yeah, yeah. cuz I used to listen to your music and I was yeah. like you know you do the, you do the check it's like yeah. no no okay it, it adds up yeah. I should give up that's the kind of person you don't want to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do fitness and do that stuff. No, 100%. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 but that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that mentality of, like, you come from here, yeah. you go to there, yeah. and there's a whole information in between where yeah. things aren't explained, and you find out, you're thinking, wait, like, no one's robbed me in real life, so how does, that, how does this happen? Yeah, right, cool. With me now, at first, when I, when I first ever got finessed for, like, hella racks, I was on this roadman thing. I was f moving like a roadman, thinking like a roadman to get my peace back. Until I realized, no, until the person threatened me that they're gonna call police on me. But you, you've signed my signature and took my money. How are you calling police on me? So when I, when I realized that, they just, when I said that, they just sent my money. I didn't even have to threaten or get angry or not just sent my money and that was it i learned from that mistake that yo and that's someone i trusted you know like that and then and then from then i've learned like in this music thing yeah just just like because everything's legit and everything's on paper you can backtrack and you can always if someone did finish you you can you will find out, it's like, like yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's there, it's there, somehow. But that bounce back, because I know even even from that time, because we all know what, what that was about, but you still kept going strong, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think the, the interesting thing is just like, at that time, the feds were also trying to yeah, yeah, yeah. like get you, bro. So how do you deal with trying to get out of the streets, trying to get out, trying to do well in music, yeah. and then the feds are still trying to, bro, it's a lot going on. Yeah, it's too much. And just even road issues, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. With me, I just dealt with it, man. As it comes, there's no plan, there's no, like... I can't give no one advice. The only advice I could say is that, Rob, the reason why I'm here is because I stayed out of trouble, like... like how can I put it? Like, like all right, cool. I might be broke one day, yeah? And it's easy for me to go trap. It's easy for me to go do something to get racks right now. But back then, I used to always tell myself, just keep rapping, keep rapping, keep doing this. This is going to get the bread, 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 bread. My brethren that are rapping, and they're, at that time, they're, they, they're more known. Everyone thinks they're even better than me. They're doing their rapping thing, but they're trapping. They get six years in jail. I'm still out here just rapping, and it comes for me now it, like it's, it's happening for me now just because of the time and and the work man's putting man's 
eat it. Oh, how, how do I put this? Why was I even explaining this? Yeah, to me, it's just getting out, just staying out of trouble. Just keeping focused, staying out of trouble. That's the best thing to do, bro. Yeah, but it's harder because music, bro, music money don't come as quickly as people think it does. No, no that's, that's, why, that's why another thing for me is I'm lucky because when I dropped them songs, it's like it was just working. It was just working for me. Like, touch a button, hold you. And I weren't even getting paid from them. But what's working is that they're just getting big. And now this manager over here wants to chat to me. That manager over there, Chipmunk wants to do a song with me. Fucking, I'm just getting about now. And them little things are bringing in money. And then, yeah, that's how you, bro, I don't know. I don't know no advice to give no one. I'm just. Chip was hollering, Chip was mentioning your name early doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, he said that you, he said at that time, he's like, you were like the UK 50 Cent, the way that you just coming through, yeah, just yeah, shutting. Yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. I think he was wearing a red hat. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. Nah, that's it. But it's, yeah. but it's the same, but all these things are crazy because it's like, the, the, the Sneak Ball stories, are, it's, it's like a movie, bro. And you know what's so mad? I swear to God, I remember sitting in political Pete's house here and we're watching. He was, hard, he was hard as well. That's what I'm saying, he's a hard guy as well. But we're watching TV and Chipmunk and Chris Brown's on, like, man's been watching Chipmunk before that, but I just remember it was like a week or two. It was around the time I'm just seeing Chipmunk all the time on TV. Then next week I'm with him, like, about the pattern of songs, Starboy and that. Bruv, life was just mad. That's the first, like, it's so mad. I think Chipmunk is like the first. Obviously, when I was younger, some random guy gave me a ticket to Missy Elliott's concert in Brixton so, but Chipmunk other than, other than that Chipmunk is like the first celebrity on TV that I'm seeing in, in my real life I don't see no one in Brixton or nothing like that unless it's some hood DVD this is some real life celebrity <laughs> that I'm with right now you get me I just thought I'm gone now man like I'm in here <laughs> yo <laughs> yo crazy that's sick bro man and then like I was going for your, your your catalog, and you say you keep you keep on going, but I always look at it like when does music actually make sense? Because like you don't live in Brixton anymore. No mm -hmm. There's a point where you have to you have to get out, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when was it all right for you to actually like get out, and stay out? If that makes sense. Of oh, Brixton. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. It's hard because. To, Obviously, I'm not on this gang shit in Brixton. I'm not running around doing no crime, but I'm in Brixton, like, all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I'm out of there. Don't get it twisted. I don't live around there, but there's never been a month where I'm not in Brixton. There's never been, like, a, unless I'm in a different country. But if I'm in London, I'm in the ends. I'm with my brethren's. We're not... It's not the same how I'll be on the block 24-7 getting run down by feds, and now it's like I'm patterning with the same people, but... Like the ones that rap, I'll, I'll, we're going to the booth or we're rolling today and just. Motive, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just different motive. We're just thinking different, man. But I'm actually like you, then actually, I'm like you moving out. Like. Me moving out, that was like. I wouldn't have moved out if my, that manager at the time didn't, didn't tell me, yo, like, let's go halves on this house and all of that. That's, that's the, that's the only, only, only reason why I, I moved out at that time. Or I wouldn't know how long till I would have left. So in a way, it's a blessing. Yeah, no, it was a it was a blessing. It was a blessing because from there, I've never wanted to go back and live there. Like it's, I could never live there. That's crazy. But when you when you go out, what what for you? What's the first changes you realize? Like when you're out, like because when you're out, it's just when I'm out, it's just like there's normal places. Like <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> People are living normal. My neighbors are normal. The Jakes are driving past me. <laughs> They're not stopping yeah, they're not stopping me. So it's just like it's different, man. And yeah, it just felt different. It, it, being out the hood, I remember when I first was out the hood. It just, I don't know, man. I felt like uh, I'm grown. Or so I don't know. I just felt different. And then when you go back to the hood, then what's the feel? When I go back to it, it's like I'm in a PlayStation game, fam. I'm telling you, fam. It, as soon as I enter South London or go through a certain part of Black Hole Tunnel. I'm in the game now, like, this is a game. This is a serious game. Yeah, the energy changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every part of the South London, boy. So normal life, out the ends is normal, in the ends it's kind of like, you yeah. got to move accordingly. Yeah, yeah.
So when you talk about the guys who are still in the ends, who you're kind of patterning with, mm. but they're still in the ends though. Like how, how do you, not the advice, but how do you look at that situation? Because they're in the ends probably around your age, but they've been there a lot longer, bro. You've been out for Yeah, I give my brethren's advice by telling, I just use my other brethren's as an example. Like my man's doing life, my man's dead. This guy is an OG that's been out here for so long. Not, nothing really happened to him, but he didn't know when to stop. Now he's, he's, he's fucked. Fucking my man smoking crack over there. There's nothing good. There's nothing good coming from this. You just show me one man that's good. I can't, I can't name one man in Brixton that's good, except from Judge of Souls out of all of that generation. You, you know what I mean? So he has, he has to change that whole thing 360 for real, for yeah. real. So cool. So that's 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 what I tell my brethren. That's what I look at. This road thing, it is what it is. Like, yeah, it is what it is. But oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to. Yeah. yeah. I get you, man. So even like now, I wanted to talk to you about. We got your your project's gonna be out when this interview's out. But there's a, there was just a couple of tracks I want to talk to you on. Your last project, mm. highs and lows. Yeah. Love that man. Even just like you rapping on that on the kind of pianos, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like just like talk to us about that record and yeah, highs and lows. That's like the intro on the Nine Lives album. It starts off with my son um, crying on it, and yeah, like I'm just I've, I'm just talking about like the stuff I've been through in my life, and I feel like that song was meant to be like a positive yeah it was more positive it was more me reflecting on life and just talking about how far i've come and the good things that's happening now and yeah yeah that's the that's the intro what was the second job? um was it last night in brixton oh last night in brixton yeah 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 last night in brixton that's that's another one that's emotional to me because i was talking about one of my the first 16 bars on it is me sending a message to one of like my good good friends that we don't really get along now but yeah it's a, it's a track that means something to me cool now moving forward like the new project oh wait hold on so wait nine lives was on ireland yeah yeah, yeah. but so what was it like for you being at a label because all the other projects were independent maybe yeah. apart from singles maybe yeah, yeah. how did you find the label experience because you're back to being independent again yeah um like, I feel like it works for some people, but for me it don't work. Like, it's, it, it just don't work, in it? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. I weren't feeling, feeling it. The timelines, the marketing, the way it's structured. Yeah, just uh, everything, man. I weren't feeling it, like, <laughs> I weren't feeling it. I don't know if I should talk about it, but I weren't feeling it at all. No, but bro, like, do you know it's like, it's not, like, it's not a slack, because like I say, I, bro, man's in the system. I yeah. can see the system's broken. Yeah, and then you know little things, let me show you, what I, the main thing I weren't feeling, yeah. Obviously, everyone has their own life. Everyone does their own thing, but we're we're building a basically building a team. Well, I'm you lot have been the team that's here already. You doing your thing, but I've been brought into this team. Cool. We're building. At least a month or two months, I've got to know everyone. Da -da 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 -da. We're fucking with each other, bro. Everyone's left. <laughs> You get me? Everyone's left, like, and it's like, man, just hair. Yeah, so that was like... Do you know that? It's like being an adopted kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, and then the new people didn't really okay. get man or nothing. So, like, it was like, oh, this is mad right now, man. Just on a... I'll explain it for you, bro. What it is is that when someone comes in newly, they don't want to take responsibility for another person's situation. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. if your thing don't pattern, they're not gonna get in shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They only wanna look out for the one that they brought in or the mm -hmm. thing. That's like that's what it is, bro. Alright, cool. So that's what I'm saying. I'm in that situation and I'm thinking, bro, I've been doing this for nine, ten years. And now I'm having the bare headache. Like, so I just that 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 but I'm not saying I won't make that not make me ever sign a deal again. That experience. But that was just a bad experience for me. Yeah. And the thing is, bro, you don't have to make a record, bro, because that project was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you get me? Like, it was a hard project, and I think that's the one thing about, and it's, it, labels have to look at it in terms of, you can't take an artist who's a pioneer, like, you're like one of the goats in yeah, our scene, yeah, yeah. and you don't 
fully try and understand him first. Mm-hmm. You can't just be like, okay, cool, let's just pay TikTok influencers. Let's just do that and, mm-hmm. yeah, just put it out there. It's like, you, do you understand his music? Yeah, do you understand yeah, where he's coming yeah, from? No, 100%. Because music's a ro- that music is the way out for you. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah, and that's, like I say, like, I've seen it. Like, my boy Faces has seen it as well, bro. It's a problem where if you want to take our music and make money from it, understand the people who's creating it. Mm. That's all it is, bro. So it's not, it's not like a political thing. Even the people who left, and I know who those people are, they, they know, bro. Mm. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah. But now nah, it's sick, though, man. But even now, when you do your own project, then how do you, is it management who's keeping you to your timelines? Like, how are you patterning? Because you've always been independent, so I guess you know. Yeah, with me, basically, I just make all the songs. And then, obviously, now I'm with ADA. They've made a timeline. Everything's going well. It's going perfect. It's on point. It's like nothing is getting moved back or slowed down unless it's me that slowed it down. So cool. Thank you. I appreciate them, innit? And that's what I need right now. And yeah, it's like, we, we, it's, we'll see how it goes. Really? No, it's a good team. Good team over there. Shout out to um, Laura as well. Laura's yeah, over there. Yeah. She's, she's really efficient, man. Sick. Um, but bro, do you look at like this game, like you said, it's, it's gone 360 in a way. When you came in, it, you were really on the thing, like, but is it, do you ever feel something you outgrow the audience in the scene? That makes sense, because... All right, let me show you something about me, what I've been thinking recently. Because, like, certain men get bare comments and bare likes, but but my streaming is, like, the same as theirs, you feel me? So, but they're younger, they might be younger or something, so cool. It's like, with me now, most of my friends are, like, all right, let's say they're girls. The girls have boyfriends now. The girls have kids now. They can't really be under my comments or posting up on their story, sneak bold videos. It's, they're grown, you know what I mean? And those are like my friends. But this is what I'm saying. What I'm, the, the things I'm working on now, I'm gonna tap into the young, like young, young, I got the young kids, but you know, like I need everyone listening right at this moment, like, so yeah. I get it, like, it's evolved, isn't it, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you came in, bro. when you came in, bro, you had college and, like, just people in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Them people are grown now and living their life and doing... They still support, man, but it's, like, it's not unsocial how it... They're just copying it, like. Yeah, they're copying it. They're listening to it. But trust me, when you got the kids now, it's different. They're doing the TikToks. They're commenting even five times on one post like just dumb shit like that you know like that like just dumb shit like that it's mad though man because like i'm saying it's it's i listen to your music a lot and it's you i think you've been one of the most consistent yeah i can't um i can't think of a song i said yeah sneak bro was whack on that yeah 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 your delivery is always on point yeah, your yeah. clarity yeah yeah you get me like you know your beat selection yeah is a one yeah. how, how much more do you think you got to give music because I think there, man, because you see me, my life's just mad, fam, so I always got something to rap about, like, I'm always rapping about something, but yeah, I got, I don't know, man, I don't know, like, when does man stop, I see Skepta saying he's retiring, how, like, I, I don't know, I, I don't think I'm ever going to retire, like, but I was thinking, can I be 50 rapping in that? <laughs> About, about granddad shit. Like, I don't know, <laughs> unless I'm going to be on like some Pete and Bass shit, talking <laughs> crud at that age. <laughs> I don't know, man. But I don't want to stop because it's not even about money. It's not even about the fame. I actually do it because I just love listening to music. Like, like, I'll write something and I need to go listen to it and just smoke and play it and just vibe to, to that song, you know? Some, I got like 300 songs that I haven't dropped. I swear to God, fam. Just the li- that's why my albums and mixes are always full because I need to just get these out, fam. But yeah, now I'm dropping. Now I'm the ones that I haven't dropped. I'm even just gonna do some something called like the Lost Files or so- some yeah. dumb shit like that. Yeah, right. just slap that out. Man. So you got to work right then, bro. Too much, fam. Man, it's like man's not stopping, man. That's good to hear, bro. Because bro, the game can make people jaded. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like right now, if I want it, I could be the drill king. Like, <laughs> I could do whatever I want. Bro. No, because that's what, like, was, was, was the tune with you and sticks on when it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a drill yeah, yeah, yeah. And man's been doing drill from 
when it even first started, but that's not me. Like I like Afrobeat and the wavy. But, but you know your voice sounds so good Sing on it. Sounds yeah, good yeah, on Joe. Yeah, yeah. No, trust me, man's gonna bring. That's what I'm saying. Cause I like music. I'm just gonna do it all now. Like and. I'm not trying to be an Afrobeat artist. I'm not trying to be a drill artist. I'm not trying to. I'm just dropping music. If the drillers like that, they like that. If the party is like my Afrobeat thing, they like that. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's what I'm on, man. Just dropping my music, man. You've been hotter than a lot of men, you know. You've been yeah. you've been hotter earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fam, you, you can't name one rapper that ain't said that to me. I can't name one, not one, and I'm not even like gassing myself up. Anyone, the the biggest, the smallest. They've all said it to me, fam. In the DMs, in real life, like, I've heard it, but with me, like, the difference between me and them, I know gigs made me want to rap. I know gigs is, like, one of the coldest, and I say that all day long, like, you know, like that, but, yeah, with my thing, man, I'm quiet. So, you don't, I mean, like, but, really, I mean, but I don't need the, like, it's what it is. Like, I know in their heart what they're thinking and what they're saying, you know, like that, so it's cool. But I think the whole thing, people, what's that analogy people say, like, giving flowers and that? Yeah. Like, I think our culture doesn't do a good job about recognizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like. Whoever, Even some of these old school DJs, like, trust me, it's like they forget themselves. Like, like they don't want to give my flowers. I, uh, Forget, I don't even want to go into it. Because <laughs> the DJ that's just getting on my nerves right now. But well, it's cool, innit? It's cool. But this is what I'm saying. But these are the things where it's like, again, everyone knows. Because it's, it's, hard, it's hard to put in context all your accomplishments when you haven't had really an industry support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you haven't been in the label system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're from one of, like, the most hated ends yeah, to match. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? So it's just like, People don't really see that story, bro. Like, there's no one else, like, I think. And that's another thing, I think. Do these certain people not like me because of old school shit that's nothing to do with me? Just the Brixton area, like, I don't know, like, because I, I did hear something about Brixton and Tim Westwood, even though me and Tim Westwood are good, but little things like that. If, like, something happened to me in Croydon, I might not like yeah. anyone forever from Croydon, no matter what. So I don't know if it's little things like that, but yeah. yeah. With me, I'm good with everyone. When I see them, it's all love, da 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 It's just, it's just, yeah, I don't know where it is, man. Everyone's holding back. Bro, but Brixton, but Brixton's divided, though. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that's the, I, bro, obviously, I'm from South. I didn't know how divided Brixton is. Yeah. All I'm thinking that, once you come down, what's it, what's that? Is it Brixton, Brixton Hill? Hill. Yeah, yeah, Brixton Hill. It's just, there's the ends there, there's the ends there, there's the ends there. And then, that way he's going to this place, yeah, that way he's going to that place. Yeah. And I'm thinking, bro, I don't understand how one road... It was, it, and it's so funny because it was cool before, like, but it's, over the years, things happen, man. When things like that happen, like, do, this ain't no UN Peace Treaty thing. Do you ever think, do you know, yeah, man, this shit's all, like, for the man of bro, it's just long, bro. No, it's definitely long, it's long. I, I always think that it's been long from I was on the roads before I started rapping, but this is what it is like. This is man's life, isn't it? So let's talk. So the new project you got M twenty four. Um, like, what do you think of his like rise in the scene and just like? Yeah, no, I'm loving it. Like M twenty four is from Brixton. He he's doing his thing, killing the drill scene. Yeah, like. You can only get bigger and better. And I like how you and Ad's this relationship yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ad's been my boy from day. So yeah, we just keep working. Um, Sticks, he's the same. He's like the pioneer, Joe. To me. To everyone, actually. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's the pioneer. What makes you say that, though? Because he started it. Like, he's the first person to jump on them beats. Obviously, he's not the first person to go gold or the first person to go on a tour or whatever but he's the first all of these guys watch Brixton trust me we just don't get put in the light like but everyone's learning from Brixton a lot of men so that's what I'm saying it's part of the story gets missed out sometimes when people are telling it like because yeah, yeah. I, I bro, I'm not a drill drill fan I'm a bit a little bit I want to say a little bit too old for it but I don't really go to this but I wouldn't even know when yeah. I say that what yeah, makes yeah, you say yeah, that yeah, man yeah. Yeah, does yeah, he, he does he, he know that? Does everyone knows that. If you check Twitter, everyone knows that. But obviously, there's other guys that's charted. There's other guys that's doing things. So it looks like they started it. 
Do you think all these okay, bro? Let me quickly switch. Do you think all these new new school um, what are they, bro? Those is it? What are they what are they call them? Is it podcasters? What are they? Podcast. Tweet. You know the people who think they know the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're just talking. No, nah, bear them don't know the game. Some of them are some dumb people. I swear <laughs> to God. Oh my day, they don't know the game, bro. There's, there's, oh, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot, bruv, there's a lot, fam. They just talk, 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 and then you know what gets me mad? They make the game the game now. Like, the fans believe them. Yeah, like, whatever they say now is like, 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 all right, cool. No names, no names. I, no, no, cool. I like, I like Liffy. Okay. I like Liffy, fam. But he thinks J1 is shit. Now everyone says J1 shit or whatever, but there's, but J1's getting money, so there's some people that like him. You know what I mean? So you just thought, I don't know, man. Like these people shouldn't say certain things sometimes, man. But it's the U. It, that's what I'm saying. That me saying this now is like the UK is too soft. Oh. No, I just, uh, bro. I, just, I bro. That's but people shouldn't have their opinions. But, bit, but I think if you got a relationship with someone, talk to them personally yeah, before yeah, you yeah. go. Yeah, it's yeah. about what did I watch? I watched um, Mayno's interview with a guy called B Dot, and he was talking about saying. Bro, like, you don't publicly, like, you're my guy. Yeah. But when I made one song you didn't like, you went on public, you went, you went publicly and saying, you thought this song was trash, but you could have just called me. You didn't yeah, need yeah, to, yeah. like, it's just going straight to, <laughs> to the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, call me first, didn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. but the game's interesting, man. But for you now, bro, like, you're going to drop the projects in around July. Mm. And then you said you're going to do clothes, like merchandise, all that. Yeah, it's just going to be, it's just going to be the mixtape um, stuff. But after that, I'm going to get back on like what I used to do. I used to just have different tracksuits, different hats and stuff with my jet ski logo on it. Just different designs. Again, you got, you got your son now, yeah. So does music now become a greater motivation? Because yeah. he, he, yeah. his dad's a star now. Like he, when he grows up, his dad means something. Yeah, yeah, no, Not saying our parents didn't mean anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 100%, 100%. I always even think like... Cool, it's all good I'm getting shows now, yeah, but my main thing that I've always wanted to do, fam, is bring my son to my shows and just turn up with him. But obviously, he's like one or two, so I'm thinking, fam, I need to make this happen, like, till 10 years later. Like, you know, get me? He needs to be 14, at least, with me at, at my show when I'm turning up. That's what I wanted. That's what I want, innit? I want him to see me doing it. Not showing him the videos and, like, this is the memories. and all. Nah, man, I want to show him, yo... Man's out here, like, bam, bring your friends, cut through, like, come. That's what I want to do. That's my dream. That's the, that's, that, yeah, that's, that's my goal, fam. Have you performed in Nigeria at all yet? No, I performed in Ghana. <laughs> you know what? I only went, I only went to Nigeria the other day, yeah. When did I go? I think it was two months ago. Um, so you no, my second, my third time, but my, the, the last time I went was when I went to boarding school, like nine years ago. Oh, that's, that's PTSD time. Yeah, yeah, so I, that's what I'm saying. I've never been, I ain't been back there. I went Ghana so much time. My gra I'm even thinking, my grandma must think I'm some prick because <laughs> I'm in Ghana. She's in Nigeria over there, like half an hour flight, one hour, and I'm not going there, you feel me? But I don't know if it's the boarding school or because my mum sent me there for long, but I just never went there. That and border school, bruv, bear man got sent back. And then obviously my grandma passed away and that's the only reason why I went back. And now, when I went, when I went there, I wish like I was just out there with her because I haven't been, she's been here and I've been chilling with her and we're doing what we're doing, but I haven't been out there and like take my grandma out restaurant, show her like man's a big man now, you know, like I could do these. When I was there, she was, she would give me money and look after me as a young boy, you feel me? So if I went there, yeah, man, I could have just patterned so easy. Like, it's, it's mad. It's, it's too easy out there, man. Does she, does she also, she does, that, she, does she get your success? Yeah, 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 yeah. She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. She tells me about it all the time, man. She's proud of me. It's sick, bro. Yeah, because I was naughty. Like, my mum always used to call her complaining. I'm in um, jail. I'm in a, I got nicked. I got stabbed or something. Now, and then when, when, my mum sent me to her and she's seen that, like, I'm just a lovely kid, you know, like that. When I came back and I got famous and all that shit, she's just happy, man. She's just, she's just happy because she, it's like, it's like I, she, what she thinks, even though I came back and I was still with a man and getting in trouble and that, but she thinks I've come back from her and now my life's good. 
What's the hardest thing you've had to deal with in music, bro? Like, just in general, it's probably like 10 years. What's the hardest thing? What's the hardest thing, man? Oh, I don't know, man. There's so much hard things, man. There's, there's like so much, man. There's so much, so much stress, man. Like, like, man will put on headline shows or something, and then it's all good. But not even like a week before, man. Just, they're cancelling it like seven hours before the show or something. So that's hard. Stuff like um. At one point in my life, I always wanted to get signed. When I was independent for so long, obviously, it was good. It, it benefited me that I, I did them years independent. Now I own all them songs and all that shit. But I really did want to get signed when I was like just started and I was hot and doing all that. But yeah, I, di I didn't get signed, and I see everyone else get signed. Everyone else start winning mobiles. Do 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 do. That, that shit will make man feel funny. That's hard times as well, you feel me? But this is what I'm saying. I'm past that now because it's like, because I'm the first, these things weren't happening for us. Like, you get me? I'm seeing these things and it's, an effect, it's affecting me because I'm thinking, what's going on? Like, man's been here with a the man them doing the same thing. But yeah, now man's old, man past that. Bruv, all these things, nothing really affects man no more. Man. As, as, as long as I'm making bread, trust me, like, yeah, man, it is what it is. Because I don't think people would be able to relate to your situation because no one else was going through it mm -hmm. at the time you went through it. Mm -hmm. like, no, I don't think anyone's had like snubs from awards having the hottest songs yeah, yeah, yeah. or being one of the hottest artists or yeah, yeah. having the hottest artists in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut man out. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy things, that's what I'm saying. How can man not get nominated? I'd still ask that question until today, fam. Like, if I saw that Kanye or King or whatever her name is, I would ask her that, like, what's going on? Like, like, yo, like, man put in work, so much work. Like, I use Abracadabra as an example. And you know, I don't mind saying names no more because I'm just saying facts. It's, I'm, it's not like I'm chatting shit about no. But Abracadabra, he's my guy. I love his thing. Everything about him is hard, you feel me? But for me, that's been in the game years. I've dropped, like, these touch of buttons ain't on nothing, the Afro beats, whatever. And then my my guy comes with robbery and then wins the mobile. It's like, no, nah, I've been robbed, fam. Because I've done this better. I'm talking about winning. I'm, bro, you're not nominating. You're not calling up my name. You're not saying nothing about you. Like, there's nothing. So, yeah, I was definitely getting robbed back then. I, I'm going to even tell you one more thing where, I'm getting, where I know I'm getting robbed. My brethren, I'm not even going to say the person's name, is a DJ, a big DJ in the, in the industry. But I don't know if people knew we were close. There was a board meeting with like, I don't want to say the people's names, but yeah, don't, don't the top that. people yeah, yeah. in the industry that everyone knows. I think it was to do with mobiles or something. And they said, don't mention Sneakball's name. In that meeting, you know, a couple of years ago, bro. Hey, bro, how can that happen? <laughs> Man said, don't mention Sneakball's name. Nah, that's when I knew, yo, I'm getting blocked from so much shit right now that the only reason why I'm here today is because I'm going hard or because man just like my songs or because they see that Bo's just the real deal. Like, man, I don't even drip too much or nothing, you know, like, man just does me, like, and it just, it just does what it's doing, fam. Yeah, man, I feel, bro, yeah, you've overcome, man, and I'm looking forward to the project. Do you get me? Like, is there any kind of like last words you want to give, like yeah. your fans, bro? I'll be here in ten years. Next ten years, I'll be still here, fam. Are you gonna have something to just be loaded? No, trust me. The next ten years, I'll be here. I'm 28. I'm looking to be. Yeah, I'm 28, fam. I'm gonna be here when I'm 38. The man in my 38 talking about they're retiring. Cool. I got. That means I got ten years. I got another ten years. If man are talking about they're retiring at 38. So we'll see in it. I'm gonna go hard, fam. Man, bro, you're not even 30 yet, bro. Not 30, bro. I'm about to be the big dog. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, people think I'm the big dog. I'm not even the big dog. I'm about to be the big dog. Although, lastly, like, you mentioned gigs here, bro. 
Like one thing, one thing I love about Giggs is that he's so positive, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, there's times I've been going, like, he'll just send you like certain texts, yeah, or messages, or just like you know, like, or just even like, like just yeah, yeah, talk yeah. about God and that. You just yeah, thinking. Yeah. No, Giggs shocks me sometimes, man. He's, that's what I'm saying. Giggs, like, it's the realest, man. I I just think Giggs is the realest. He just. He just helps helps people, man. He just he just wants to see everyone win. I don't I don't know, man. I don't. There's something about him, man. He's, like, I got mad enough for gigs. You feel me? And another thing, yeah. What made me even respect gigs more, yeah. Is like, there's a lot of men that will get hot, yeah, and they will act bougie or they won't want to fuck with certain people in the UK or do whatever. Like they'll just start moving different. Gigs dropped the song with um, Drake. And then the next song after that was my song. Maybe even if that was me, yeah, if I dropped a song with Drake, the next song after that might be just me on my own. Like, I need to shine right now, you know what I mean? Like, boom, so cool. But he was, he's was he been spreading the love, like, he's doing his thing. Like, that's, man, he's a real nigga, man. Like, come on, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, like, I respect these things. Man. And if you check all my interviews, I've always, respected his thing, gave him his flowers because that's who made man believe I can rap, I can do this thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, obviously I like, I listened to Tupac and that are my favourite, innit? But gigs made me know we could become famous. Man could walk into the club in Brixton or the house party in Brixton today and this could be my tune playing. That's when I only realised that shit when Giggs started doing it, you know what I mean? When Giggs gets his flowers, yours is definitely to follow because yeah. it's mad, you lot are still kind of like the same era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, you get yeah. me? From Hollow Meets. Was, was Hollow Meets played yeah. in it? No, but Giggs, he, he, I think he's even been having tapes before I was rapping. Yeah, yeah before I was rapping, he was going ham. So, like, yeah, he, he deserves everything he got. I, if you, when I even saw him post, like, his tapes he's put out, it's probably double what I've put out. Bro, he's, he's like, he's, yeah, he's been working, that's what I'm saying. So, that's what I'm saying. With me, I've seen it, Skepta, Skepta gigs. I feel like four years ago, five years ago, they, they started shining mad. Yeah. But even though they've been shining, like from 10 years ago, or whatever, but this is why I'm trying to say, I've been shining from 10 years ago, so, and when man keeps going, it comes back round. It just comes. You just got to keep working. And that's what they did. Skepta kept working. Certain man around Skepta probably slowed down, didn't go as ham as him. That's why man ain't like Skepta. Man ain't big like Skepta. That's why he's where he is. You get me? And that's, that's how it's going to be for man. I just know it. I, you know that? I just know it already.